Mary Ellen Mose went out onto uh, Lindale Avenue and talked to some people who are doing cleanup there. Oh, scare. Six-year-old Takaria struggles to understand what happened to her neighborhood overnight, seeking comfort in her parents. They just hug me and keep me safe from the fire. Takaria, like so many others, came out of their Lindale neighborhood home Saturday morning to see this. We just bought this building um, last year. Cam McCambridge is in disbelief over what's left of the building he owned. What used to be an O'Reilly Auto Parts on the left and a Family Dollar on the right. Now gone from an overnight fire started by agitators. McCambridge shocked people were able to cause this much damage. We boarded up these windows. There's only three banks of windows here, and somehow they pried through and, you know, uh, did what they did. As hard as it is to see this, no one was hurt in this fire, including Ellie Underwood, who lives in the apartment building next door. We're all feeling very grateful this morning. She said it was a neighborhood effort to keep everyone safe and their homes standing. People in the back alley had their hoses pointed at the building. We had everyone, um, the houses across the street, their spigots going, filling tubs of water, and we were all just bringing them over here. They survived one night of destruction, hoping they don't have to fight through another. I just hope that it, I hope it somehow slows down and and we can get you know help that we need and um, that this this type of stuff stops. And I just don't want to see it trickle over into a, a, an actual residence in South Minneapolis. Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. And of course, we want to remind you, if you want to stay informed, you can stay here, hang out with us here on WCCO and CBSN. And you can also uh, download our web app, our new WCCO app. You can download it for free at the Apple Store or Google Play. And we also have a new way, website, WCCO dot com slash help. If you'd like to help in any way, there are resources there, food drives. Cleanup events, it's all there. GoFundMe pages, as you can see, it's scrolling up there. So you can just go and head over there to our new website.